Hello everyone, welcome to this Microsoft Excel course and today I'll talk to you about the advantages of using Microsoft Excel. The first example that I want to start with is storing data in Microsoft Excel. So as you know that we can store millions of rows of data with Microsoft Excel because there's no limit to data. But Excel has a limit in terms of rows and columns. So that's why Microsoft came up with the Power Pivot, where you can store millions of rows of data, and then you can perform calculations with the Power Pivot. This can be used to track profits and losses, can display graphs of country's economy, probability of crashing the market, and manage household budget. Now, the advantages while using those type of key characters is that it is in, it increases the ease and speed of calculation. It is easy to modify information and recalculate, and it displays numeric data as a graph. Okay, now as you can see, now as you can see in this table over here, our spreadsheet, we have vast amounts of data. And this is actually very helpful to us because in normal spreadsheet applications other than Excel, we cannot store that much amount of data as you can see over here. If I click on this, and go up you can see that excel gives me all the normal calculations for example the count the sum and even the average over here so another thing you need to know about storing data in excel is that the current uh, currently there are like 16384 columns and 1 million 40,576 rows. So this actually makes it more better for us to make our data possible to be written in Microsoft Excel. Next, we have pivot tables. So pivot tables are a very good way to store data in Microsoft Excel. And it's very easy to create one too. All you have to do is just select a cell in your table, then press the Control, control T shortcut or we can just go to the insert menu on a ribbon, then select pivot table. After that, you can see that Excel has already selected a range for me and we can either put it in a new worksheet or an existing worksheet in our Excel file. So I'll click on a new worksheet and press okay. Now you can see Excel has shown me a new spreadsheet where I can actually store my data. So over here, the table is not complete because I haven't put any table fields yet. So let's do it. Let's put the full name in rows. Then we'll put their annual salary as values. We'll put their bonus as values too. Then the gender should be in columns. After that, the age or we can let that out so now you can see basically we can edit any types of data and put it in our columns rows and value section and also the filter section for the filter section i'll just change the gender to filters and we can also put the age over here now you can see if i go over here it's saying gender all and age all i can just go over here to the filter option select only males if i want to see it and in the age, I can select the age of the person I want to see, for example, 60. And I'll click on OK. And now it's showing me only the people who are male and on, and on the age of 60. So this is basically how you can use pivot tables to your advantage in order to show data in Microsoft Excel. All right. The next advantage you need to know about Microsoft Excel is about the templates or the vast array of templates that are available to us. So templates. Okay, now what are the advantages of using templates? Templates encourage repeatability and efficiency. Reworking your documents and spreadsheets for every project or proposal wastes valuable time, valuable time and money. Instead, focus on content and completing tasks. Templates can be utilized and customized in various ways and purposes for audiences. In, an, in addition, they allow you to keep your company 
are brand consistent. So now let me show you how to create a template in order to let me show you how to create a template so that you can see how easy it is in Microsoft Excel. So in order to create a template, we'll go to the backstage view first, then click on new. And then you can see that there is a different section in new where we can search for online templates or even select it from the suggested, suggested searches. Or if you do not like that, you can just creep on, keep on sc scrolling and then see that there are various amount of tables that we can choose from. Say, I want to download a mark sheet for my students. So I can just go over here and say mark sheets and hit enter. And now you can see that Excel has already selected a mark sheet for me. And if I click on it and select create, you can see that Excel has input the mark sheet template in my worksheet. And now I can freely use this table. All right. So that is one advantage of using templates because it saves money and time. Okay. Now the next advantage that we are going to look at is formulae. Using formulae in Microsoft Excel has never been so easy. What makes Excel the best spreadsheet application on the planet is its ability to perform calculations. In Excel, you have a complete list of functions that you can use for the calculations. If we go to the formulas tab over here, you can see the vast array of formulas that are available to us while using Excel. So what makes Excel the best spreadsheet application on the planet is its ability to perform calculations. In Excel, you have a complete list of functions that you can use for calculations. And as you can see, we can go over here in the formulas tab to see AutoSum, recently used functions, financial functions, logical, text, date and time, lookup reference, math and trigonometry, and more functions, which include statistical, engineering, cube, information, compatibility, and web. Now, after this, I'm pretty sure you understand why Excel has a vast array of formulas and how it is so useful to many people around the world. But apart from that, you can also, you can also create your own formulas, combining two or more functions, or just by performing calculations using operators. So basically, an Excel function is a predefined formula that returns a specific result based on the values you specify. For example, I have some names and salaries over here. Say I want to find the sum of the salary. I can just easily select the cells over here and then go to auto sum and click on sum. Now you can see that at the bottom of the table, the sum of all these tables of all these values have been shown to us. So this is how easy you can get data from Microsoft Excel by using their function library or the amount of functions that you can use over here. All right, the next advantage that we have while using Excel is the ability to create charts. There are certain advantages of using graphs or charts, particularly in data analysis. And they are number one, it makes data look more representable and easy to understand. By looking at a chart itself, one can draw certain references or analysis from it. And it helps in summarizing a large amount of data in a very crisp and easy manner. And the last advantage of using charts is basically it helps in better comparison of data. So say I want to find the comparison of data between my names and salaries over here. So I just select this whole table, go to insert, and then I can just insert any type of chart I want according to my table that I have. Remember that the structure of your data depends entirely on what table you want. So I just want a normal column chart. So I'll click on this and select the clustered column chart. Or I can just select the stacked column chart, which is way much better. But since we do not need a stacked or there are not multiple values of the table below, we'll just choose the stacked column chart. And now you can see it's so much easier to visualize which person did more, which person has more amount of salary than the rest of the people. For example, Clinton or Clifton over here has the highest salary among all of the people working for me. And even if you want to visualize your data more, you can just go to chart styles, select a style for your chart or you can just add more elements to your chart to make it more descriptive. You can add data labels and also position them. 
where you want them to be, then you can also add data tables, error bars, the legend. Okay. And you can also change the color of the your column bars by choosing what color you want them to be. For example, I'll just click on this select fill, then select a color that I want to choose for my graph. There you go. See how easy it was to create a chart in Microsoft Excel. And I hope you've understood why you use Microsoft Excel now. Now, after all these explanations, I am pretty sure you can see that we can produce easy and effective comparisons with powerful analytical tools included within Microsoft Excel. And you also have the ability to analyze large amounts of data of, of data to discover trends and patterns that will influence decisions. Okay. Microsoft Excel's graphing capabilities allow you to summarize your data, enhancing your ability to organize and structure your data. Powerful analysis of large amounts of data, for example, recent upgrades to Excel spreadsheet enhance the ability to analyze large amounts of data. With powerful filtering, sorting, and search tools, you're able to quickly and easily narrow down the criteria that will assist you in your decisions. Combine these tools with the tables, pivot tables, and graphs in order to narrow down the criteria that will assist you in your decisions. That is the end of this video. I hope you've understood the advantages of using Excel in this short video. That is all for this lesson. See you in the next video.